at least they are open-minded. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's that, that, that's what I meant. It's like I don't want to make anyone angry, but um, I think uh, it, it's not the perfect audience. But if some people like it, and if some people are there, like it's gonna be cool. And for sure, it's a big honor to play there. You know, to to say we're playing back on it's like. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. It's one of I think you can you can probably say it's one of the dreams yeah, that sure. a young musician have. And so this is fulfilled. We should cover some Slayer songs so <laughs> <laughs> I think we stay with Lady Gaga. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, in September you're uh, doing a short tour in England. Yeah. And um, one show with pleasures. Yep. Yeah. For you two, that must be very special. That is indeed oh. very special, but it is strange in a way. The thing what I'm thinking about is that we having we're having the pleasure show two hours before the Law of the Lost show. So I have to wear makeup at the pleasure show that pleasure show that I'm able to get rid of to be a member of Law of the Lost two hours later. You know? And this is gonna be a bit strange, like the, and, and the mood thing as well, you know, doing this happy hippo pleasures thing and then playing serious songs and try to reach people with a certain kind of message and not still being in this but yeah this it, is, it is a hard thing. way from from up from sexy and free to sexy kind and of because <laughs> it's hard to come down during two hours so but i think we're going to hit each other hard in the face yeah and then it's going to work again are you trying to be sexy on stage no, no, but you are, ah, and I try to be like you. Okay. Ooh, what question? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> uh, why did you make the choice uh, for Len Bo to play your part? Um, because, um, I mean, I'm able to play guitar and sing. I'm doing it for years, but it's always a hard thing to concentrate on the technical stuff, and on the other hand to try to just to feel and to express what you're feeling while you're singing and singing is much more about being emotional than playing guitar uh, for me I don't think I can speak for anyone else and I am realized at the last words video shooting that I'm much better in feeling the music when I'm not playing guitar I, I mean I miss, I miss playing guitar on stage a little because I really like it but uh, on the other hand it's so much more intense for me and at the same time for the audience when I'm just singing so. And you still have it with the pleasure, so... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm still playing guitar with pleasure, so... Whatever, yeah. And, yeah, now we're six guys and we're trying... No, we have five guys and one girl. Yeah, five guys and one girl. <laughs> and we're, we're trying some shows with seven people on stage. The first show is going to be at the uh, VGT, at the Wave Gothic Treffen in Leipzig. We're trying to play with a live... Uh, I don't want to say keyboardist, <laughs> keyboard player, because he's playing the piano. Um, so let's see how this works. So, yeah, if if we're able to play bigger stages in the future, then we're trying to be seven people. Well, that's not going to work on small stages. So let's see how this works. Not to mention the orchestra. <laughs> yeah. That's the next step. Then. That's next. Yeah. After moving to the moon, then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, like I mentioned, you have uh, three guys playing guitar. As yeah. obvious, you play the lead guitar. Um, well, I would I would call it melody guitar. What? Melody. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's separated in, in two, two rhythm sections yeah. that not play always the same, but mostly the same and a little bit little bit different parts from time to time. And me covering it with some melodies. And that's it. Yeah, actually, you could say that the both rhythm guitar players are basically one guitar. So, and then he's playing the melodies, but we don't call it lead guitar because lead guitar is always compared with this Guns yeah. N' Roses kind of style, you know, like it's always over and, and, and louder than everything. <laughs> and we try to, uh, yeah, he, he's the emotional part of the guitar section, so. And the emo. Yeah. Um, well, you have uh, everything uh, you do at the moment turns into gold. That's how it looks like. Uh, not, um, not yet, no. Right. No, but Touch kind me. of. Touch me. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, you're covering Bad Romans uh, at Trash Fest, and that's huge, huge success. <laughs> you look at YouTube, and the only video you see is Bad Romans, <laughs> for example. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you're quite surprised. Uh, actually, <laughs> actually, what you see there is that uh, everything that Lady Gaga is touching turns to gold. And no one's right. really interested in our songs, so that's actually, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually the thing. No, uh, 
Yeah, that was just um, an accident actually. I was drinking very hard this one night with Bo uh, at a house club in Hamburg. And we were listening to the Gaga song, we were like, uh, we should tell her that. <laughs> and three days later we were sitting in my home studio and trying to figure out how we could rearrange it in a lot of lost style. And I have to admit, I came a little later to this place and I really thought that they went to put a joke on me. And after half an hour I thought, okay guys, it's not funny anymore. You can stop it. No. Before that he actually hated the, yeah, her music. Yeah, I, I hated her. And after playing that, started that, everything. After playing that, we all started to listen to Lady Gaga and we're all like, we want to go to the concert when it's in Hamburg, but it's so expensive, fuck! What can we do? <laughs> yes. yeah, so some of us turned out to be really uh, big Gaga fans since then. So. Yes. Yes. Open your mind. You never know what's behind the corner. Can you tell us what's the future plans for Lord Wars Everything, we, Everything we can get. That's it. Right. Conquer the world. Right. Yeah. I think... Uh, I think I, I was asked this maybe in nearly every interview, like future plans and dreams. And, uh, it's, it's always the same. It doesn't matter which band you are asking. They all like, we want to do this and that. We want to live from the music, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, we we don't say no to everything. We can get what we what's what's in the yeah what's be between the borders of the things that we like. So we're open to everything that's coming there, and we're I mean there's a reason for I, I mean we're working hard and we're not doing it just for fun. So we have big plans, but I I'm always a bit um, cozy with. Yeah, we're talking about that because um, I'm a little afraid that when I tell you my plans, you think I'm crazy. So. No, I don't think so. <laughs> you do? No. But not because of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. Okay. Um, well, then another standard question. Uh, your favorite song, yeah, at this moment from Lord of the Lost. And I will not start with you this time. I'll start with class. Excuse me. Uh, my favorite song. <laughs> At this time, I would say. This was Richard Wagner. <laughs> Prison. That's a new song. Okay. We're gonna play it tonight. But it uh, it, uh, it got me the first time. It's like melody you couldn't lose anymore. So I think actually it was the second time because the first time I listened to it, you were like. Oh, this is just another Chris Harms pop song. No, of course, <laughs> and and it's like, <laughs> but it, 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 it got me. My favorite song at the moment is, is another new song that we played tonight as well. It's called Epiphany, and uh, I'm really into that at the moment. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you had time to think. I had time to think, but <laughs> it's not possible to think and to listen to the other guys at the same moment. So. He's not able. <laughs> no, I am. And of course, no, I have to admit, prison is at the moment is uh, the same. It's the same with me, because first of all, it's it's a new song, and it, it develops in in our heads. It's because it's ready. not a new song. Yeah, it, because it's not it's not ready yet, and everybody feels it like this, and um, and it plays very good. It is very it is very fun to play this song. So. I really like this at the moment. We already started the production of the yeah. new album. We, we have 20 songs in the tube now that we're working on. Yeah. So, Actually it's finished and um, in the back of my head I'm already working on stuff. And there's another place in the back of the back of my head where I'm trying to sort out the songs for the third album huh? already. But I think there's a little <laughs> too early. So, yeah. so are you already uh, making plans for releasing the second album? Uh, we we can, can't make plans about this because it's not our decision when and where it's going to be released. We have to produce it, we have to give it to our label, they have to like it. If they hate it, they say no, that's it. So we can't make plans. We just... How much are you hoping for? Yeah, my ideal plan would be like producing it this, ye this year and bringing it out like uh, in late summer next year. Okay. So this was, would be my ideal idea of it. Okay. Well, uh, that were my questions. Uh, do you have anything uh, to add or to say to the Dutch fans? Thank you. Thank you. Have you nog genoeg vandaag? She says no. Have you nog genoeg vandaag?
Leute gefragt, ob sie heute schon gefickt haben. Oh ja, ah ja. <lacht> das Niveau ist mal wieder im Keller. Damit verabschieden Sie sich auch für los. Tschüss.